What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So, we tried something a little bit different for this video and yeah, it didn't really work out too well. We just spent the last few hours actually standing in Skanderbeg Square, just here behind us. And we were asking people to give their opinions about Albania, their pros and their personal cons as well. And it proved to be a little bit on the difficult side. We did get two people's reactions though, so check these out. Hey, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Tirana. Ah, and amazing. And what do you think about Albania? Albania, I think it has very nice, it's a very nice country. The people are very nice. Uh, the hospitality is very good, the nature. There are some things I don't like, but in general, I love Albania. And what do you what do you not like about Albania? What I do not like Albania is the mentality of people, which sometimes they are not very fun. Yeah. And you know, they are with the old tradition, but things are changing. And besides that, the food is awesome. I love Albanian food. Uh, I love the nature. I love the sun. We have very sunny days and the sea. Oh my God. Amazing. Thank you so yeah. much, man. Oh, you're welcome, Cheers. Mate. Hey, so where are you from? Uh, I'm from China. Oh, amazing. And what do you think about Albania? Oh, I like it. I just arrived two days. It's a very nice city, small but quiet and nice. People are very friendly. I like Albania. Ah, amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. Cheers, man. So, seeing as that didn't really go to plan, <laughs> we're going to have to kind of pivot our idea here and we're going to take you on a little bit of a walk around Tirana in this video but nonetheless don't worry we will continue to try and talk to people in the next couple of videos and see if we can change that situation into a better one um, but yeah we're gonna try and collect as many opinions as we can <laughs> yeah <laughs> well there you go there's another interaction for you guys I'm not too sure what he said but if you can uh, translate that down in the comments that would help us out a lot uh, hopefully it wasn't too bad what he just said to the camera But yeah guys, we're gonna go for a little bit of a walk Around the city as I said right now we are Just at Skanderbeg Square. Have a look There's Naomi. Hi <laughs> But yeah guys um, A lot has changed since the last time we came here firstly, it's the restrictions to actually enter Albania. First time around when we came to Albania was in July? Uh, June. I think or, it was June. June. Yeah, around June. Um, summer 2021 was the last time we were here and the entry restrictions around um, the big scary virus changed quite a bit. Uh, so right now, as of today, you do need a test to enter Albania. Um, you do not need a green pass or anything like that, thankfully, but do keep in mind that you do need a negative test result. There is no quarantine. There's no anything extra that goes along with the negative test result. You just need the test result and that's it. And once you're in, for Europeans, it's a standard three months. Um, actually, for Americans as well, that's something that just recently changed. Uh, Americans only get three months too. Oh, sorry guys, a little bit of a shake. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, with that regard, I think we said like two videos ago that it changed for Americans that they no longer get one year. That is not completely correct. Um, we talked to a few friends and it was kind of uncertain exactly what the situation is with the, with the visa. So they were already kind of staying here for longer than three months and then all of a sudden that news came out um, but we researched it a little bit on the side of the American Embassy on the website and it's actually from February 2022 so as of right now everybody like every American that is here can stay for a year or everybody that enters before February 2022 yeah so keep that in mind guys if you are coming here uh, and you are from the States uh, make sure to plan ahead because we got quite a few messages from quite a few people that watch our channel that are from the States and they were saying oh uh, we're planning on coming 
to Albania. We can't wait because they they thought that they had the one year. And uh, yeah, when that changed, kind of messed everything up for Americans in general. Um, and I we do know a few Americans that are here. Shout out to Chris. Chris Forte is one of the fellow YouTubers that set up shop here in Tirana. And he is currently over in Istanbul doing his thing. He's a fantastic YouTuber, guys. If you do get the time, make sure to go and check out Chris Forte's channel. He basically does live streams in uh, markets and he shows all of the ins and outs of countries like Albania and like Turkey. And I'm sure he's going to be going to many more as the world starts to open up. But he is definitely a worthwhile source to check out if you do want to find out more details and information around Albania because he's been here for quite some time now and he's a great source of information guys so reach out to him reach out to us uh, don't be shy keep that in mind as well things have changed around the visa situation and it's a little bit more difficult uh, to enter the country currently but nonetheless guys we're going to continue we're going to keep walking through give you guys a little bit of a taste of what Tirana Albania is like right now as you can see there's a lot of traffic and there's a lot of people there's a lot of movement going on uh, we actually got a few comments on a couple of our videos that said there's no one in Tirana Tirana is packed like there's so many people around here and there's a lot going on um, it's actually it get, it's got a lot busier since we were here in the summer isn't that right yeah like since we were here in june it's a totally it's different insane how many people there are in the city yeah <laughs> and it's just uh there's a different vibe to it uh sorry guys we're just crossing the street right now and it's a little bit hectic check it out like look at the pure amount of people just out living their lives right now this uh street that we're walking on currently is called Ruga Kavaya and it's actually a really interesting street there's plenty of fast food places here fast food Albania uh, you do have Capital Grill here that actually featured in one of our food tour videos you can get some really nice grilled meat and uh, souflaki and all of this amazing stuff and super cheap as well 280 lek I think is a cost you got 190 lek super cheap like you can have an entire meal for literally two or three euro with a drink included as well so yeah that's something to definitely keep in mind guys when you are here ruga kavaya check it out the last time we filmed a pro and con video as well and it was kind of more a pro and con of tirana in general um, and what it feels like to live here as a foreigner basically um, but what we forgot in that video <laughs> is the people of Albania. Yes. Um, so we were just kind of talking about the city and the traffic, the situation, stuff like that. Um, but the people of Albania are a huge pro to coming here because um, the people are so nice. They're very warm, very open. And no matter, no matter what you need, they will always help you out. We had the situation plenty of times that we didn't know where our accommodation is. <laughs> And we kind of stopped people and asked, uh, hey, how can we get there? And a lot of people actually went and brought us to that place. I kind of tried to make sure that we get there. Um, we got plenty of coffees for free. We got rakia <laughs> for free. We, got, we even got grapes at some stage um, just because we are foreigners here. Yeah. So if you do come here, definitely reach out to the people and talk to them because there's no better country to do that, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. And uh, it's definitely something that you guys uh, should be aware of. A lot of sort of, I don't know, I don't know what to call it, but maybe stereotypes, I guess, um, about Albania and the country in general. It can be perceived by a lot of people in the West as being this negative crime, um, all of this type of stuff and obviously you have the movie Taken um, with Liam Neeson that 
it depicted the Albanian characters as being these like evil bad guys and they're the criminals and whatever and it couldn't be further from the truth um, really genuinely like I'm Irish Naomi's German and we've never had hospitality even close to uh, what we've experienced here uh, in the Balkans and in Albania in particular but right now guys check this out we're actually on a street that is full of markets lots and lots of uh, designer clothes and stuff like that so definitely check this out if you want a pair of purple sweatpants if you want to get a, like a pair of purple sweatpants yeah you never know might suit you you got the english flag alongside the bayern munich flag and the albanian flag so that's a nice little combination um, but yeah, guys, the purpose of this video, I guess, right now, <laughs> is to show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Bye bye. Oh my god! Speaking of speaking of the people, uh, there you go. That's a little bit of a of an experience for you guys. Um, that's how the people can. A lot of a lot of people are obviously not comfortable with being on camera, but a lot are, and it's about finding the balance, I guess, in between uh, being comfortable on camera and not being comfortable on camera. And that's what we kind of tested today. We were in um, Skanderbeg Square for two hours, roughly two hours, and we got the opinion of one tourist and one local um so it's not easy but it's definitely worth trying we did have some cool conversations but unfortunately a lot of people don't feel very comfortable and that's obviously just something to do i guess with the culture but i don't really think it is the culture primarily i also think it's the barrier of speaking english yes exactly. um so like lots of the elderly people would more speak like italian some do speak german so we do get around with that quite a bit but english it's more of the younger people i think it's like recently it's hard in school check this out <laughs> we're trying to get through the market and there's so many cars um but that's normal here um on the street that we live on um, there's a different market it's not this one here and you can barely walk around because of how many cars and people there are um so yeah like we heard other people say in the comments, ah, oh, Tirana is so empty, everybody left. It's not, there are so many people here and there's more and more expats joining every single day. Um, we spent a day in the, in the office for visa, in the, in the visa, in the foreign visa office basically. And it was packed. So like it was full of people trying to get visas, trying to get um, the residency here. So there's more people coming every single day. And yes, it's true, a lot of Albanians are leaving to find job opportunities in other countries, but there's lots, lots of people here as well, so. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's kind of a sad situation, the way that it works out uh, a lot of times, because a lot of the locals here in Albania, I understand that they do want to go abroad for better opportunities. And that's totally understandable, other countries, you do get better salaries and maybe the standard of living is slightly higher but um, there is so many people that are reaching out to us on a daily basis on instagram if you're not following us on instagram make sure to go follow us um, it's a much easier place if you want to contact us directly um, i'll pop the instagram handle just here for you guys and um, go over Give us a follow and message us if you do have any questions about Albania or Tirana or anywhere really in general. Um, you can also message us if you just want to say hi. Yeah, You yeah. don't have to have a question. <laughs> That's the other thing as well. Make sure to reach out if you do want to just say hello, um, how are you, whatever. Um, we're always open and that's definitely just there for you guys like 24 hours. Um, but yeah, we're coming to the end now of this street here with the markets. Um, it is super interesting 
and if you do need something like a jumper or a jacket or a pair of jeans or a Louis Vuitton bag it's definitely Louis Vuitton um, you can come here loads of Gucci slippers if you do want to come here and get a nice knockoff or even just wrap up for the colder weather this is the place to come right now we kind of transitioned from Ruga Kavaya we're actually coming now onto the street called Ruga uh, Muslim Shari and this is another very interesting street again packed full of cafes shops traffic and people moving around um, lots of things to do and see here as well guys there's lots of bio shops organic shops you can get some headphones phone cases you can get a nice bit of food as well around here and yeah just kind of being in tirana being in the capital um you kind of forget tirana is in terms of a city anyways tirana is relatively small um, in size when you compare it to other european cities or anywhere really in the states but even though it is a relatively small and walkable city there's so much stuff to do here it's unbelievable um, they really have thought out strategized and put together a very well and good functioning city for people and it's encouraging a lot of tourists as well to come here and that's kind of the whole point of our channel I guess is just to open up people's perceptions open up their eyes and give them a sort of a different view of uh, Albania as a country. But tourism in general in Albania at the moment is growing a lot. Um, we heard a friend of ours say that um, that the reservations at the moment, for example, from the UK are already high, like the hotel reservations as of right now are already more than the entire hotel reservations from the UK the entire last year. So. I do think that there's a lot more people coming here wanting to see the country, wanting to check it out. So if you are thinking about visiting Albania, don't hesitate, just do it. Um, you can very easily get into Tirana airport from literally every European airport usually. Um, so that won't be an issue. And then kind of Tirana is also easy to enter Albania because here a lot of, more, lot of people actually speak English um, so it's kind of an easy start if you want to see the country, but um, definitely make sure to see the countryside as well. Kind of go to Girocaster, check out Korcha, or maybe if you want, if you're more into uh, the coast side, the coastal line, go to Vlora, maybe Saranda, Himara, all of those places. Um, especially like I, I hear a lot of people say positive things about Saranda. We haven't been there yet. Yep. Um, the last time we were here, kind of the furthest south that we went was Girocaster? Furthest south we would have been, yeah, was Girocaster, which is, Girocaster is just kind of inland. It's almost on the same line, like it's same horizontal level as uh, Saranda would be, but we never actually made our way over just because of time and stuff like that. Our visa yep. was running out and we didn't know what the next step was at that stage and then we decided to go to mexico which was uh incredible yeah it was a very interesting country and very diverse culturally and amazing food as well but um something just pulled us back to albania, albania. um so yeah that's uh something to think about mexico is such a popular tourist country like millions of americans millions of canadians so many people visit Mexico every year but just something inside of us was like you have to go back to Albania and yeah. that's why we're here now there is this saying as well in Albania or at least I heard loads of Albanian people say it when you visit the country of Albania once you will always come back there are so many people that visit the country once and then they kind of invest in an apartment or even like if you work online they just stay here in the country with a residency visa yeah. um, so I do think that that's the truth like we when we were in Mexico we wanted to come back to Albania obviously we love Mexico as well don't get us wrong but we definitely felt like 
we want to come back and explore Albania a little bit more because we haven't seen the very north so we haven't seen Tess, Valbona and Skodra and we haven't seen Saranda and Himara so yep. this time around I think we're gonna try to visit those places definitely yeah actually it's going to be funnily enough our next stop is going to be Skodra so if you guys watching this video if you do have any sort of opinions any recommendations around Skodra and around the north of Albania drop them down in the comments uh, if you're still watching this video I know we're Jesus we're over 20 minutes into this video now and um, but we'd love to hear uh, your guys's opinions and comments around the north of Albania because this will be our first time um, staying in the in the north of Albania and we cannot wait to experience uh, the hospitality because we have heard that in the north of Albania in particular the food is unbelievable unbelievably good the people are even warmer I didn't think that that would be possible but the people are supposedly even nicer um, the further north that you go in Albania also in the south as well actually people in the south I noticed in Giro Castor and Korcha for example um, those are probably actually two of our favorite cities Korcha and Giro Castor are unbelievably nice um, people were amazing there so talkative friendly and they were just willing to open up about their country and their beliefs to us which was incredible as tourists and as travelers that are coming here and wanting to learn more about Albania but yeah guys I suppose the last thing that we're going to talk about and then we're going to wrap this video up is safety um because that's something that we get asked about I know I got asked about a lot when we were looking at coming to Albania people say is it safe is Albania safe? Are you going to get robbed? Are you going to get kidnapped? No. Uh, we've never felt safer, actually. Um, we've just been walking now for the last 20 minutes with this phone on a tripod through, through the capital city. And we have never felt safer. It's the only way to explain it simply is that there's a very laid back, relaxed, everybody's chatting in cafes type of a vibe everybody is kind of just minding their own business living their day and getting on with what they have to do and they're not really that interested in what you're doing yes walking through the streets right now like we are and filming a video you do get some funny looks but that's all over the world um never once in one instance have we felt unsafe or unwelcome here in Albania. And even um, if you are a single female traveler, um, I had quite a few questions about female travelers. Um, don't worry as well. So like you do see loads of um, Albanian women or even expats walking the streets of Tirana at nighttime by themselves. There is no issue whatsoever. Oh, look at the fruit, onions, nice. Um, oops, try not to get hit by a car. Um, so yeah, even if you are a single traveler, like a backpacker or whatever, you can come to Tirana and feel totally safe. Um, whereas in different parts of the world, maybe I wouldn't go out at night by myself uh, to get some food or something like that. But here I would definitely do that. So don't worry about it at all. Yeah, that's the other thing is going out, going out at night here. Um, in the capital city and actually anywhere that we've been in Albania you can go out um, whether it's nine o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock and it's perfectly fine um, you literally will just it's the same as going out in the in the middle of the day the only thing is that there's less people and even the people that you do meet when you're out at night are totally fine there is actually a curfew speaking of going out at night there's a curfew here in Tirana for 11 p.m., but that seems to be for businesses. Um, people are still out and about past 11 o'clock. Um, so regardless of what time you go out, um, you can go out, go for a walk, do whatever you want. But the only thing is that these types of businesses and stuff like that will probably not be open 
there are some places that stay open and they're just like, I'm going to do what I want. But yeah, check this out, guys. Look at this little cute guy. This is something that um, kind of shocked us when we first came to Albania. Uh, they really love their animals. They love their birds, uh, birds and cats in particular. Uh, Albanians really love cats and they really look after all of the street cats that are around here and there's actually quite a lot of street cats in Tirana and they also have birds in cages everywhere especially during the summer not so much right now we actually were talking the other day about where do they store all these birds um, but during the summer they have these birds in cages in cafes and outside supermarkets stuff like that and I'm not too sure what it actually represents um, so let us know again down in the comments if you do know if you are Albanian and you understand what that means and why uh, that is um, like are people coming and buying birds from these cages or are they genuinely just for show and um, you have a lot of pigeons but uh, yeah guys that's pretty much it we just wanted to basically have a little bit of a walk and talk show you guys what the vibe is like right now in Tirana in 2022 as you can see it's perfect there's nothing wrong everybody's just living it's laid back people are enjoying their lives and yeah midweek video for you guys so yeah the temperatures at the moment are getting a lot higher as well um, I remember when we first arrived it was kind of cold like minus five minus ten stuff like that um, but now at the moment it's kind of going up to 15 17 during the day it rains sometimes but it's all right um, it's not too bad here so the spring is slowly moving in in Albania um, where are we we just came <laughs> off so we just actually finished the Muslim Sharia street and now to be honest I'm not too sure what this street is called um oh yeah we're just gonna basically go on a little bit of a walk maybe stop for a coffee soon again if you guys have any comments questions or anything like that drop them down in the comments reach out to us all over on instagram we are here with the purpose to make travel easier for you guys here in albania for now guys my name is luke my name is naomi we're in alu adventures and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.